right, it is time for weekly, oops, not wrap up, but a weekly TBR. Hey everyone, it is Shannon and I'm super excited to be here today and to share with you this video. This is going to be my TBR for week number 24 or June 11 through 17, um, 2023. I did decide to do a separate wrap up and TBR video this week. Um, my wrap up was just getting a little bit long and I felt like I would have to either rush through my TBR or have a very long video. So I'm just trying to, I'm still trying to figure out what the best approach is and what styles of videos and frequency and stuff like that of videos that I want to do. Um, and so bear with me as I try and figure that out. And so that means doing some different things and trying some things out. It's not my favorite, to be honest. I like to decide and then do, but I think you really have to work with the truth of things. And I, for me, I do have to, indi I have to work with sort of the, how, like, how I can manage in terms of doing the video editing and scheduling and stuff like that. And when the videos get too long, it gets hard for me. So I need to keep m shorter and more frequent is a little bit better for me. And so um, I don't know if I'm always going to do that, but um, that's what I'm doing this week. And I don't have a film or TV video this week. So doing two, two bookish videos is a okay. And I might go back to Friday reads. I don't know. It might happen. We'll see. Um, I still can't quite decide what I want my schedule to be in terms of filming. So that's impacting things as well. And as talk about impacting things, I will also apologize for my voice being a bit froggy. Uh, we are still being impacted by the smoke and the air quality. I am in Toronto and we definitely started feeling that on Tuesday and ever since. I've just kept the windows closed. Um, I tried to open them on Saturday for a moment and I very quickly, like although it seemed fresh, you know, it was like, no, I can feel it very quickly. So I, um, for people that are going through it as well, I, you know, I, it, I, I feel you, it is not good. And hopefully we'll get some good change, uh, in the future to ensure that this kind of thing doesn't continue to happen. That it's not just an annual event. I, you know, I think some work can be done to, to, to be a bit more proactive than that. So that's, um, well, I'll just leave that there. Um, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, let's get to the books. So I'm going to share what I plan on reading this week. As per usual, I have picked five books for my TBR for the week. Um, I'm diverging a little bit from my five categories because this week I have two buddy reads. Um, and so I need to make room for that. So starting with the buddy reads. First up, we have Night of Darkness by Kinley McGregor. This is by, uh, oh, sorry, this is by Kinley McGregor, but that's also a pseudonym for Sherilyn Kenyon. This is the second book in the Lords of Avalon series, which is kind of like a nestled series within the Dark Hunter series by Sherilyn Kenyon. So it's also paranormal romance, but these ones are historically set during Arthurian times. But to be honest, the Arthurian elements are very, very light. And um, so it's mostly a historical paranormal romance, mostly. Um, and um, slash urban fantasy, but not really urban because it's historical. So anyway, speculative. I want to go as far as speculative. They're most, they're, they very much follow the paranormal romance uh, uh, parameters, shall we say. So I am buddy reading this with Anita from Anita Reads. I will leave a link to your channel up above and down below for you to check out. We finished the first in the series earlier this year. Um, and, um, I, I, I'm actually, I realized I'm not quite sure who this is following, which is a bit unusual in paranormal romance. Um, usually they give hints as to who it could be following. Um, but I, uh, I uh, don't know. I don't know. Um, so that'll be either uh, a surprise or maybe I forgot and then it would still kind of be a surprise. So anyway, we're starting this this week. I'm excited to getting to getting back to buddy reading with Anita and I'm curious as to what we're going to think about this one because we weren't huge fans of Sword of Darkness, which was the first in that series. So looking forward to reading it and also looking kind of looking forward to getting back to the Dark Hunters proper because that felt a bit more... Um, uh, engaging in terms of the world building. This one, the, the Arthurian elements being so light was a disappointment, but maybe there's more in this one. 
who knows? We will find out. Uh, next up, I am also buddy reading A Small Zombie Problem, which is by K.G. Campbell. I'm buddy reading this with Izzy and K. Kelly, and there will be a live show on Izzy's channel towards the end of the month. I think it's Thursday the 29th. I will put the information down below for that. Um, so this is a middle grade illustrated book, something to do with zombies. It was a bit of a, 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 almost a random pick. Uh, Izzy had the book. Me and Kay Kelly could get it, so we decided to go with it. I'm really excited to see where it goes. Um, I am giving myself like a good amount of time to read this, two weeks um, to read this, and then I'll still be done almost a week early, um, which is what I like to do for Buddy Reads for live shows. It just feels, it's just, I don't like having pressure. And this one's actually split into two parts. So this week, I'm only going to be trying to read the first part. I probably could read the whole thing in a week, but I prefer to take my time with Buddy Reads uh, that are for live shows. And so that's what I'm going to do with this one. So looking forward to checking that out. And then in terms of stuff that I am continuing, I'm going to pick up something that I haven't picked up for quite some time and did not get picked during the May reading challenge and that is story stories of your life and others by Ted Chang. This is a science fiction collection. It includes the story story of your life and others uh, no story of your life which was made into the film Arrival. And so that one I read many years ago, I think when, when the film came out. So that one I read in 2015 and um I did a video on it and I think it's it might be my highest viewed video. I'm not sure. It's definitely in the top five. Um, and and I don't even remember what I said. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna watch it again. I will leave it up above if you want to check it out. I don't think it's bad or anything. But I'm just sometimes when it's like a video takes off, you're like, oh, that one, that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But I imagine it was because the film was coming out. So anyway, so I read that one story for the film and then I realized, oh, I started this book and never finished it. So last year, I think I read the first title in the series, in the, in the collection, and now I'm going to read the second title, which is called understand. Um, these are pretty brainy science fiction stories, and I really enjoyed Story of Your Life, but I didn't love the first one in this one, which was more sort of felt like historical speculative fiction. It wasn't quite, I don't know, it just, I don't know if it wasn't what I expected. It's been a while since I read that one, so hopefully I will enjoy understand, um, and so that's going to be my goal for this week for this title. It's only about 40 pages, and um, I have several of the titles on my speculative fiction that are on my currently reading are collections or in sections. So I have this one, I have the Conan the Barbarian collection, and then I also have Station Eleven, and all of them I would like to finish um, by Halloween. I'm kidding, Halloween is the end of my reading year for my goals. Um, and um, or what I'm working towards. I'll still count whatever I read in November and December, but I don't like having any pressure in November and December. So, um, but this one, Conan and Station Eleven, I all want to finish by Halloween. So I need to make progress, a little bit of progress in each of them for every month. I don't know if that's the best approach. I don't know if that'll feel like just very slow, but I know if I leave them all till October, I will not be successful in finishing them. So that's the approach I'm going to take and we'll see how things go. So one story from story of your life and others. And then for um, my realistic fiction pick for the week or my everything else pick for the week, I'm going to continue with The Just of God by Margaret Lawrence. I did. Um, this was my pick for last week as well. I only read like not a lot. What did I read? 16 pages. So that's not a lot. My reading last week was, I did not make a lot of progress overall. I will admit that. I don't, it's amazing how that didn't quite come up in the video, um, in my wrap up video. But I think what happened was that I had the four weeks of the challenge of the currently reading challenge. And then I had one more week, but that was the end of May. And then last week was the first week after that. And I just sort of like, was like, you know what I mean? Like it was just sort of like, I had spent a lot of time and energy on focus reading for five weeks. And then last week, I just sort of did not make a lot of progress. So I think that's uh, fine. Um, I just but it did surprise me, I guess, because there was that one last me week in May that I made a bit of a push to finish a couple more things. And then by 
you know, the next week I need, I had, I had a lighter week. So anyway, but I am going to hopefully make progress on, I am going to make progress on this one. I don't know how much progress I'm going to make on this one, but uh, that's my realistic fiction. It follows a woman who is, I don't know, this is written in the sixties and I don't remember when it's set. Uh, it was the Governor General winner for 1966 and was made into the successful film Rachel Rachel. And there are some of the covers, when I was looking online, some of the covers do have it called Rachel Rachel. So, um, which might be a better title. I, I find the title a little... There was a moment in the book that I felt like, oh yeah, but like where a just of God makes sense. But since then, not so much. So it's about a woman and her life. She's She's come back home, um, she went away, studied, uh, uh, was teaching, She's but she's come back home, I think she came back home when her father passed away, and so she's kind of like her mom's caretaker, kind of, but more companion, you know, like her, she's, but she, and so she's back home in her small town, and, and then life, you know, um, but her mother's quite, know what the right word for her mother would be opinionated passive aggressive I would actually say her mother is very passive aggressive and so and so she's just sort of going through life and feeling like there's not many options of what to do now especially now that she's back home so it's a bit uh I do find it a bit of a tough read but I think Margaret Lawrence's writing is so amazing um and I'm curious to see where it goes and um we'll see we'll see how I do I definitely am not going to finish that because 96 pages of a Canadian literary work is unlikely to be a one week <laughs> one week goal but we'll see how things go and then my nonfiction pick for the week is the same as last week which is um, Madly Deeply the Alan Rickman Diaries this one I only have about 10 days left on my library uh, like um borrow um and um it did take a while to get so I want to get some good you know, so significant reading in this week. I did finish out 1995 last week, and so it's now onto 1996, and I haven't started that. Um, again, I did not make much progress last week. Oh, it's 19 pages. I mean, that just feels like, especially when it's a library book, I'm like, that's so little progress on a library book. But you know, and to be honest, it's not quite what I feel like reading this week, but because I have the borrow, I'm like, I should read it. And I do really enjoy the work. I just, it's not quite feeling it this week. This is a very weird combination. I did, did I hit all of my categories? I have, uh, technically speaking, I would say A Night of Darkness is my, is a romance. Um, the Small Zombie Problem and Story of Your Life and Others are both speculative fiction. I think The Small Zombie Problem is not superly speculative. Anyway, this is my realistic fiction and this is my nonfiction. So I did get something in all of my four categories. Um, so that's good. Um, I do know my currently reading is going to increase this week. That is just because I have two buddy reads that I'm not going to finish within the week. So I was at 21 for a couple weeks, but I've read a couple and I did finish some stuff, but I did also increase because I started new stuff, <laughs> mostly visual work. But the thing is, my goal is to have my currently reading be 20, but it's 20 with a very particular setup of like three here and five there and six there and two there and that kind of stuff. And buddy reads each have their own slot. So although my currently reading is going to increase to probably about 24 this week, I always have a spot, two spots for buddy reads. So I'm not worried about that. The The thing is that I need to make more progress on the, the categories or the buckets that have too many titles in them, uh, which right now are speculative fiction and nonfiction are the two that have a lot. So I might try and get some more read of the one title that is maybe has an outside chance that I can finish this week. Cause out of these five, I don't have a finish and there, it just, I always want to have a start, a finish and three to carry on. This week I have two starts and three to carry on. I don't have a finish, but the, the one option that might be good for finishing is mammals. So this is gonna be sort of my secondary pick for nonfiction. I have 76 pages left. 
Um, and some of that is sort of like index and glossary, I think. So I have finished, I did finish carnivores. And then I think the category I have left is, oh, I don't know how to say the word right. It's one, there's one even toed and odd toed, like ungulates or something like, I don't know, hoofed animals, I think. So like horses and pigs. I didn't, I don't know why some, I don't know why they're lumped into categories of even toed and odd toed. Um, I'm sure there's some significance to that so but that is the only one that sort of has an outside chance at finishing and technically I guess like last week I did start loving the beast by Sky Warren again I got 31 pages read of a novella that's 120 pages so now I have 90 pages left of that but I haven't super been feeling it so anyway so like so I don't know anyway I'm trying I'm I I'm opting not to stress about that this week doesn't quite hit my parameters because it does hit other parameters. So I don't have a title that is a very clear winner to finish, but I do feel like making progress on this is important and I will finish it probably this month. I do need to make progress on Story of Your Life and Others if I want to finish it by my, my goal date. And um, I think some of the other titles, you know, I will make a little progress and then finish at some point. So kind of like, I guess the, my goal is sort of like, although I want to finish one thing a week, it's still okay if by the end of the month I finish like four titles. Like if in within four weeks I finish four titles that are from my older currently reading. So I don't know. I guess I, I can feel even just describing it that some of my goals are kind of my goals and my my parameters are a little are a little wishy washy. They're not quite quite meshing up. But I think also there is there needs to be some ebb and flow. I do want to do buddy reads, so they and they have their slot on my twenty of my currently reading. And I just have too much right now. I just have too much nonfiction and too much speculative fiction than than I'd like than than is ideal so again I just I have no idea if this 20 book not like 20 book currently reading like it's kind of like the dream the goal but will it work you know like will it work I gotta get I, I do want to be more intentional about my choices of the things that I start this week it's two buddy reads so that's good but I'm feeling like this might not have been the best choice for last week because I didn't make tons of progress it's not a hard read but I think last week I was just tired and I was just like, whew, so much effort for, for four weeks and an additional week during currently reading. So this week I should just aim for having like a, a normal week, normal week, normal goals and not my favorite. <laughs> I like to like really go for it. But some sometimes you just need to like stay on pace, right? Like, so we'll see how things go. Anyway, that's my very rambly TBR. I think it's good that I did this as a separate video. Um, and uh, I am going to hopefully make some good progress in all of these titles. I also do have a bunch of manga that I, I didn't actually get to. Um, but I don't know exactly what I'm reading. I think I mentioned it in one of the other titles. I did mention it in the my wrap up the the one I'm going to start is let's wait waiting for it to load I think it's called a not so lonely planet a not so lonely planet oops our not so lonely planet travel guide volume one <laughs> so, by Monet Soraya Soria Soria and it is a I think it's a yaoi Pretty sure it's a yaoi. It looks very cute. Very cute. And so we'll see how that goes. I'm also uh, the one that I'm currently reading and will finish very soon is the three volume series of Falling Drowning, which has been very good. It's a shoujo and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's a very light energy with the light mystery um, to it, no, I wouldn't say it's a mystery. It's more, it's really much a romance, a uh, relationshipy one. Um, but there is a, the amnesia trope, which always gives you some mystery vibes. Um, and it's got a sort of love triangle situation. So, yeah, it's only three volumes. So I'm already in the third volume. So that I will finish soon. So that's also on my currently reading, but that's part of the visual work, um, which I didn't include in this. I didn't think. 
I guess I thought I was going to get everything in one video, so I didn't. It's, it's on my computer, but not on my list here. So anyway, that's some of the stuff that I am reading this week. Um, please let me know how your reading is going and what you plan on reading this week. Do you have any, do you use the end of the year, like December 31st, as your, this is where my goals are? I have started inching that forward recently in the past couple of years, and I'm, I'm using I'm using October 31st now, Halloween, and I think that's going to work a lot better for me and just leave November and December as bonus, bonus. <laughs> and and I, so let me know, yeah, do you, is December 31st your end of, like, your goals for the year? Do you have a different date? Do you have a different system? Maybe not yearly? I don't know. I'm, I'm really thinking about my goals and framing them um, but I still need to reflect back on a few things. So everything's a bit jumbly. So obviously everything's a bit jumbly. Oh my goodness gracious, this video got like super long. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you have a wonderful reading week ahead and I will be back soon with another video. Take care.